it gets you right in the cheeks. <laughs> I can't eat food. I probably shouldn't get too much since I don't know how many more courses there are. <laughs> hey travel lovers, welcome to Wonderless for Life here on YouTube, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. And we are in Sicily, Italy, and we have partnered up with Sicily Activities. We are going around and doing a Mount Etna countryside food and wine tour with our guide, Salvo. So let's get into it. Our first stop is here at the Gambino Winery here on the slopes of Mount Etna because vegetation grows so well here, including grapes. And we are trying some local cheeses and all kinds of food with the wine. So I'm really excited because we also have an amazing view. <laughs> it's time to taste. So we have a couple different kinds of pecorino and a couple other cheeses here. And we've started with the white that um, we were welcomed with. And then we also have a rosé. And they told us that the rosé, um, the grapes that make the rosé sit right under the terraces because this is a terraced vineyard, which I love, but we're on the side of a volcano, so it makes sense. They get a little less sunlight, so they actually harvest it a week before and it just makes a different kind of wine. It's just amazing how a week makes a difference, the exact amount of sunshine makes a difference. So we are going to try, or I'm going to try the, the first Pecorino with the white, because that's supposed to be really good. And if you don't pair your food with wine, um, give it a try one day. Just look it up and try one day. It's amazing. Whoa. <laughs> it's a little like a squeaky cheese, like a halloumi. I absolutely love it. There's so much flavor, a little bit salty, which I actually wasn't expecting, but it works really well. This one has peppercorns in it too. So if you like that burst of pepper, you'll absolutely love this. Um, so good. So I'm gonna try it with the wine. Yeah, okay. So the wine is really mellow. It's very well rounded, very refreshing, not too, sharp, not like tannin wise. It doesn't make you salivate or anything like that. It's just a really nice smooth wine to go with the cheese. And so I'm gonna try the rosé with this um, other kind of pecorino. And it has, this has saffron in it. I can't eat food. So it is pecorino like the first one, so you still get that pecorino kind of taste less squeaky. By squeaky, if you didn't know what I mean, I meant like it makes the sounds in between your teeth. Um, this has a fuller flavor, almost like a cheddar, not near, not like a sharp cheddar, but a very, very mild cheddar, which I love. So that is, that's one of my new favorite cheeses actually. Okay, rosé. This is a little sharper. Um, and the rosé, in case you don't know, um, the peels are kept with it for a certain amount of time to get the color. And the peels were in it for four hours only to get the rosé. But it does have a little bit, um, what would you say, sharper, I guess is the right, um, the right word for this cheese, which makes sense because this is a little bit more bold and this is a little bit more bold. Okay, that's it for now. And um, the reds should be coming shortly. Came out here to take some pictures, so we thought, I just try the swine out here. <laughs> so this is the Nero Davila. So these grapes aren't actually grown in this vineyard because it likes warmer temperatures and a different kind of soil. So it's grown um, towards the middle of Sicily and it has this beautiful dark color, which I don't know, I'm a fan of the dark reds. And um, it is aged in like the used barrels. So it's not as, um, like the barrel doesn't give quite as much, but it gives just enough of a little something extra. So now we're gonna give it a taste. Mm. It gets you right in the cheeks. <laughs> as soon as you take a sip, and my mouth is watering now. It's really nice. Um, it's, it's a really bold wine, in my opinion. I mean, I'm no wine expert, but um, yeah, it has a lot of the red fruity kind of flavors that if you like that in wine, you're absolutely gonna love this. And he did say that, um, these kinds of wines, you wanna drink it like five years. And um, if you can find a 2014, 
that's gonna be the best. So we have, I think only one more wine to try, not totally sure, but then we get to take a tour of the premises. So let's go try the last wine. The fourth one, I didn't taste it on camera properly. This is a Tefeo. Oh man, that is so good. It doesn't do the cheek thing like um, an Aerodavolo does, but it's so much flavor. Oh, I'm gonna try it with the strong cheese since the camera's on. <laughs> All right, this is a strong aged um, pecorino. I don't like blue cheese. I don't like any of the stinky cheese. It's really strong, but it's not as bad as, bad, relative. It's not as um, pungent as those cheeses, but it definitely is like in between like a regular aged pecorino and then like a strong cheese that you may or may not like, but it's worth trying. It's making my mouth water now. Oh, he did say that was gonna happen, didn't he? <laughs> Okay, so this is gonna be the end of the wine tasting portion, so we're gonna enjoy this, and then we are gonna go take the tour, like I mentioned. <laughs> Wine. We're actually having it shipped home. <laughs> Oops, but sorry, not sorry. And we are here at a farmhouse a few miles away and we are having lunch. And I think we're just starting with the antipasti, which is already a lot. So I'm really excited what we're gonna get next. Um, but then afterwards, we're gonna walk through the vineyard. So let's dig in. After the incredible spread of antipasti, we had farm fresh homemade pasta with my favorite, meat ragu. After lunch, we explored the farm with our wonderful trusty guide. And I want to thank Sicily Activities for setting us up with this. And if you have a trip planned to Sicily, definitely contact them. The link is in the description and you will have a fabulous time.